Today we're going to discuss if men are useless or not. I think you can figure out where I stand on the issue. Men are useless. End of video. Thank you for coming. Okay, just kidding. We're going to watch the TikTok debate, Do Women Really Need Men? Hosted by The View, and uh, it's a treat. I started watching the first minute, and I just had to react. So... Let's dive on into this video. Let's let's see together. Do men have a worth in this world? Are men just obsolete creatures that need to die? Let's find out. And I and I think we turned to the experts here. The women of the view. So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives, only one. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women, most of them said yes. <laughs> do I need women? Let me start with that. Do I need a woman in my life? 110%, yes. I treasure my wife dearly. I could not do life without her. And I would say that I love her so much that I need her. Could I survive without her? Yeah. Do I rely on her for emotional stability? No. Do I need my wife to help raise my son? Yes. Do I need my wife as an emotional partner, like a friend? Yes. Do I love her companionship? Yes. Do I value her? Yes. And I really hope, I really hope she'd say the same thing about me. So I have, I think there's no shame that more men said yes. I think that is awesome. And that makes me proud of every guy who was willing to say, yes, women are pretty great because women are great. Why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love and by the way, I want I to differentiate between... Men are useless. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Let's just keep watching. Between straight men and gay men, because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip. You wouldn't be born without straight men. Like gay men, nobody can help you accessorize like gay men. Nobody can help you uh, from keep you from doing harm to your to yourself uh, like gay men. But with the exception of somebody like Steve, I think Steve is very self-sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like he is. my he is. husband. It takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. He can really? I would be so incredibly embarrassed to be her husband right now. If my wife spoke about me like that, I would be in deeply, it would hurt my feelings. Like, I'll just be real. It would hurt my feelings. Like, men value being respected. And my wife knows that about me. And shame on this woman for bashing millions and millions and millions of men that she, don't, she doesn't even know. And for bashing her own husband on TV. A village of women. Then you married a lazy man. And you have, like... I guess my question is, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Because people don't get like that from positive experiences. She had a bad father or something or a weird uncle. Somewhere along the line, some dude really hurt this chick, and now she's taking it out on her poor husband on The View. I have Handy Manny at home. No. <laughs> he, is, he fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. When there's a bug <clears throat> to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be <laughs> fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash Still and he throws know. out the recyclables. Nope. I enjoy all the man stuff So he my, does let's go, wait a second. I like that girl so far. That's cool, right? Like her and her husband, she's obviously like, she's got respect for her husband. And she appreciates the role that he plays. And men and women play different roles. And she appreciates that. And I appreciate that. Thank you, lady that I don't know. She's really talking about a servant, let's face it. No. It's a well, handyman well, she's talking no, about. That is not a servant. That is not a servant. That's coexisting with your partner. My man 
three to four times a week. And oh, <laughs> good for you guys. And then the rest of the time I need a wife. And the other day Caleb said to me, this is my youngest son, he said, Mama, I want a spare mom. And I didn't know what he meant. Oh. And he's like, he said, Genevieve has a spare mom. And I realized the parents were divorced. A nanny? No, oh. a, a divorced. A, an extra a mom, mom, like two moms. Oh. Oh. And so I asked him, because at first I was a little wounded. I was like, what am I not doing? What are you not doing? You're you're not respecting your husband. And your son picks up on it. Here's my thought. Like, I have a, I have a son. I have a wife. Okay. When I disrespect my wife, I'm encouraging my son to do the same. Kids do what you do, not what you say. Kids model the behaviors you live out. So if you are a disrespectful spouse your child will disrespect your spouse. Maybe that's not what she's saying. I didn't let her finish. She can't really defend herself here, so it's not fair. But it's this is cringe. This is pretty bad. He didn't ask for a spare dad, by the way. He asked <laughs> yeah. for a spare mom. I took this totally differently in how I... I, could, I will rebuttal that. He didn't ask for a spare dad because his dad's awesome. Broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. Like, I think in the political moment, the people who are... Guys, don't hold Saying back. what needs to be <laughs> said <laughs> in my party. It's all women. The Very few men, with the exception of Mike Pence and a few others, are saying what they need to. But in life, like I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. This I don't mind that comment as much as like she still bashes every other man alive. I like how she says her husband's irreplaceable. That's sweet. Her husband's at home like, thank you. She's under pressure to both of these women here are under pressure to cave into this like gossipy like we hate men train. And so I don't mind that either one of them is kind of dancing the line of like, uh, I don't know if men are actually useless. I, I love my husband. He's pretty cool. I really want to have a decent marriage when I get home tonight after work. But that's I mean, what I'm saying. We like our husbands. We just don't need men beyond that. I mean, yeah, wait, wait till you're married 20 years and you'll see how replaceable they are. Well, the reason that women, I think that the reason- That's my point. That's my point. She's been hurt. Her and her husband are not in a good place. She's been hurt. The reason women can stay married for as long as they do is because they have a lot of girlfriends. They have a village. They have girlfriends. Because I always have to initiate the conversations. He'll he'll step up, but I have I to thought you were start say initiate. Oh, I don't I, like I, you need marriage counseling. They need marriage counseling. They are more collaborative than men. I think yeah. there have been studies that say that women have much more, much closer friendship relationships than men do. Because I could see that. We have, have to make a difference. Women, a, a differentiate gay men. No, gay men are, are in, their, our, in their own category. Yeah, yeah, but we're not married to gay men, okay? Oh. But okay, women, women have conversations about their feelings. Men talk about it's sports, cars, yeah. all that stuff. Men, men talk about their feelings. There's so many generalizations here. It's bonkers. Am I more willing to open up about my feelings as my wife? Maybe no, but I'll be honest. I think I don't understand my feelings as much as my wife understands her own. So it takes me more time to process when I'm feeling something. A lot of times it's like, are you okay? I don't know. I don't know because I haven't had time to think about it. Like men talk about feelings um, sure as heck don't want to talk to you five about feeling. Well, maybe these three. Sure as heck don't want to talk about their feelings to women who are going to degrade them. If you want your man to open up to you emotionally, you need to be emotionally available for him. I don't know. My husband talks about his feelings with his Maybe he's gay. <laughs> I like her. I like her. I think she was like really trying, really trying to be kind to her husband. And these ladies didn't want it because it didn't go with what they had. So I'll say this, men and women of equal importance. I truly believe that men compliment women and women compliment men. I believe that women are naturally better at things than men. I believe that women are naturally better than some things at men and I believe men are better than some things at women and vice versa and I believe there's also outliers. I believe that there are some men who are very emotional and creative and there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't also necessarily mean that you're automatically gay if you're more in touch with your feelings as a man. So I just want to throw that out there. I think misogyny is just as bad as the opposite. You know, like when you expect your wife to do everything around the house and you do nothing for her and you don't help and you boss her and dominate her, that is wrong. When you think that men are above women, that is wrong. But I think the solution is not the flip side. The solution is not all of a sudden to flip flop our entire government to where men are now downtrodden for the next 100 years. The solution is equal partners in life working together they said women are more collaborative than men well why aren't you willing to collaborate with men then why don't we look at some of the comments in this video let's uh ooh, i have the dislike thing that's a lot of dislikes 
think I'll jump on that train. Misandry is mainstream and accepted while misogyny is a crime. That's modern day for you. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. The ignorance on this panel is epic. I don't need men farmers because all the food is in the grocery store type of thinking here. Misandry is completely acceptable on national television. Good to know. I'm a woman, and I was very offended by the disrespect most of this panel has for men. If your husband is useless, you picked him. If your sons are useless, your fault. You raised them. Amen to that. I never want to hear the view call anyone sexist ever again. As a man who was extremely discouraged to hear these women's opinions, I am greatly encouraged by these comments. All the women voicing their opposition to this are amazing. I had divorced these women if they disrespected me on a national television show like this. Amen. I, I don't know if I'd divorce my wife, but I would definitely be like, babe, that was not cool. I'm a woman, and yes, I need men, and me, men need us. Amen. As a gay man, Anna, we're not here to accessorize your lifestyle. <laughs> when the husband doesn't help, he's useless. But when he does help, he's a servant. When he doesn't talk about his feelings, useless. But when he does, he's gay. I think the host just genuinely hates men. My sons are not useless. As a woman, this is peak unadulterated cringe. This is basically Andrew Tate type of content for women. At any rate, I, I had to watch this. I had to see what the buzz was all about, why people were so angry. So what do you think? Are men useless? According to all the comments and according to, you know, most of the world, no. Men have purpose and so do women. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Bye.